My name's David Yeager. I'm married. We've been together for 33 years, so that's, that's, that's a good thing. A lot of people can't say that now, this generation. And I've got two daughters, uh, three grandkids. I love them all to death. Love them all to death. 2009, back then, I was having shortness of breath. Sometimes I'd have a long way to walk, and I would get out of breath. One weekend, I was cutting grass out in the yard, and uh, the lawnmower messed up, and I wanted to finish it, so I walked down my neighbors to buy her lawnmower, and my wife noticed me breathing hard. She said, well, you're going in to the doctor. That's what I found out. My heart was beating too fast in AFib. And they've got it straight with uh, medications to get it back in rhythm. I'd go for my yearly checkups. Everything was looking good. And then in 14, I was in AFib again. And, but this time I wasn't having no symptoms. They tried switching medications around. Finally, they sent me to uh, Dr. Shaw. So Mr. Yeager came to me because he had atrial fibrillation and he was very symptomatic and he had gradually declined so he didn't really notice a, a, a marked change and by the time I saw him he had atrial fibrillation, he had congestive heart failure and he was actually very symptomatic and in part of his workup what we noticed was the rhythm was an issue but his heart muscle had gotten really weak and one of his valves was leaking severely. So what we ended up doing was talking to Dr. Bundy, who's a cardiac surgeon here at Levinson Heart Institute. Dr. Bundy went in and fixed the valve and did like what they call a maze. The hybrid maze procedure, that's a procedure where we have two providers, uh, a cardiac surgeon and an electrophysiologist. In our experience, it has given us very good results in patients that have been suffering from atrial fibrillation for a long time. After getting the valve fixed and the uh, maze and all, I noticed I started getting the shortness of breath again. About three to four months after his valve surgery, he had an arrhythmia that needed a treatment as well. And that's when Dr. Saw decided we need to go in and do a ablation. Uh, a catheter ablation, it's usually a, a small tube that you insert through the vein in the leg and go up to the heart. And you, we, what we try to do is find an abnormal electrical circuit within the heart that's causing a problem for a patient. We uh, localize it to the right area, and then using radio frequency energy, we can get rid of it and alleviate the symptoms for the patient. And I've been doing fine ever since. The last time I went to the doctor, he told me don't come back for a year. You know, everything looking good. The doctors can do great things now. His prognosis is very good because his heart muscle has recovered to normal. It is something that requires continuous monitoring, so we do see him regularly for routine follow-ups with EKGs to make sure that the rhythm hasn't changed. Dr. Shaw, I, I really liked him. I really, he's really a good doctor. HCA Healthcare and especially Shippenham Hospital have been uh, very good about electrophysiology care, heart rhythm care in the Richmond area. He came to a place where we were able to provide comprehensive care. You know, he was able to see a heart surgeon relatively quickly, get that treated, and see a cardiac electrophysiologist at the same time. We also have a lot of nurses and technicians who are amazing. They are very well trained, they have a lot of experience. So when a patient comes in to have a procedure here, they feel very comfortable. Whenever you start getting symptoms, don't hesitate. Go do what you've got to do. I feel great. I feel, feel good. I'm probably in the best health I've been in a long time.